City of Roses historic sports arena, it's Portland Professional Wrestling. Brought to you in part by Tom Peterson Superstores. Now, let's go to ringside with Don Koss. Oh, like the man says, one more time from the Portland Sports Arena, the house of action. First of all, the results from the Christmas night extravaganza. Listen to this. Christmas night, Crush retained his all-Asian and Northwest heavyweight championship belts. He defeated Buddy Rose in the middle of the ring out there. However, the Bruce brothers interfered. There was a lot of confusion, but Crush retained both of his belts. Also that night, Al Madrill was forced to put on a diaper. He lost to Jesse Barr. However, the mask, Al Madrill's mask did not come off that night, so the mask still remains on Madrill's head. Also that night, Steve Dahl and the Grappler regained their titles. They are the tag team champions. They also regained their belts. They have the belts in their possessions now, finally. They defeated the Bruce Brothers, and that night, because the Bruce Brothers were defeated, Don Owen took that leather strap, and he whipped the Bruce Brothers on that Christmas night. That was a good present for Don. However, all did not end well, because Don Owen did get roughed up again by the Bruce Brothers that night, and I don't know if that's gonna result in some suspensions or some fines. I certainly think it should, because, uh, you cannot do that to a promoter, especially to someone like Mr. Don Owen. We'll have more news on that a little bit later on. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we've got a, we not only have kids free, but we also have a six-man tag match tonight. On one side, one side we've got the team of Steve Dahl, the Grappler, and Crush. On the other side, we've got the Bruise Brothers, and Playboy Buddy Rose. But you guys have plans for that. Gosh, you're looking at two of the happiest guys in Oregon right now. Me and Steve Dahl, we got the tag team titles back. And you know what really made us happy? And all the people in Northwest, we beat them Bruce Brothers in a cage match last week. And Don Owens took that belt and he strapped them boys' hides just like they deserved it. But you know something, Steve? That old Buddy Rose had to stick his nose in our business and now they're in trouble, boy. That's right, you know what? Buddy Rose, you might have bit off just a little more than you can chew this week, baby, because tonight you got me, you got the grappler, and you got the crush, baby. Right here, six-man tag. We're going to kick some serious butt, baby. Don Cross, I'd like to come out here and thank all you people at home and all you people out there for all the cards and letters. Wish us Merry Christmas. We appreciate it, and we wish you right back at you and a Happy New Year's, too. And I'd also like to mention tomorrow night, Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor is a place to be, baby. I've never been there before, but tomorrow night, you're going to see Grappler, Doll Man, the whole crew, live and in living color. And Friday night, we're coming to Eugene. But tonight, the six man is going down. Yeah. That's right, baby. Like the man said, next Friday, next Saturday, every Friday and Saturday, we'll be in Eugene. We'll be right back here in Portland. We ain't going nowhere. We're here to stay, just like Portland wrestling, baby. Right. We're going to treat you so many ways, you bound to like one of them, so beat us if you can. I love that. All right. Now, this isn't the way we wanted it, but after 40 years, nearly 40 years on Portland television, the past 24 of these being on KPTV Channel 12, this is our last telecast on Channel 12. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we're going to give you something to remember for the next
Well, the crowd is chanting Baldy. That means Al Madrill is somewhere in the building approaching the ring Christmas night. While he lost the match and while he had to wear a diaper, he still kept that mask on his head, which means that that $500 bounty is uh, still in place. The bounty that Don Owen placed on the hood of Al Madrill a few weeks ago. There he is right there. And his opponent for our first match tonight at the Portland Sports Arena is Mike Winter. <laughs> what is Don Owen doing with that with that wig on? What's going on here? We're taking you back 40 years right now, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to the House of Action. I, before announcing this first event, I'm sure you all know the facts. That this will be our last night on TV uh, Portland Wrestling with Channel 12 here, and uh, we're going to continue to run here every Saturday night, just like we've been a going, whether we have any television or not. So we depend on you fans to come out and keep us going and keep us the matches going on. So it's all your fault, Don Owens, for letting all those brats in free every time you do, like you did tonight. It's why you're going off the air. The first event this evening will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 238 pounds from Los Angeles, the Latin lover, Al Madrill. His opponent in this corner, 235 pounds from Louisiana, Mike Winner. Referee, Sandy Barr. Well, there's no explanation for the uh, wig on Don Owen's head other than uh, it's a shot at uh, Al Madrill because Al Madrill doesn't have nearly that much hair right now. Or it's just uh, Don Owen is remembering about 40 years ago when Portland Wrestling started on uh, local Portland television. Maybe that's the way he looked. <laughs> I don't know. That's unusual. It's different. Especially the fact that nothing was even said about it. Now here we are, first match. It's very important what Don Owen said. While this is our last televised match on Channel 12, the, the matches continue here every Saturday night. And they will continue. And we're going to be looking for your support. So we ask that you bring the whole family, just like we always have before. Bring the whole family down. And enjoy Portland Wrestling, the finest action pro wrestling in the world today. And enjoy it in person. And you can do that every Saturday night right here at the House of Action. Top wrist lock, Al Madrill. I'm Mike Winter, along with a little hair pull. Out of the uh, sight of referee Sandy Barr. And Barr reaches over and says, hey, if you're going to pull the hair, I'm going to pull the mask. Now remember, every match now that Madrill is in is a bounty match for his opponent. And if, if Mike Winter, Mike Winter now is the one. Is that instant replay or we see it before? Mike Winter is actually the, the, the man who started this. Weeks and weeks ago when Winter and, uh, and Al Madrill were in a, were in a scissors hair match. And Madrill definitely lost it. And the winner ended up in the middle of the ring, chopping the head off the head of Al Madrill. And ever since then, Madrill's had that, that mask. Now the crowd really getting on Madrill. Hey, I saw, I saw you pull his hair. We all saw we all saw Madrill pull Winter's hair first before Sandy Barr pulled Madrill's mask to break down the back. Slams face first into that turnbuckle. Hard smack in the side of the face. And Mike Winter's got some problems right now. And outside he goes onto the floor. And while he's out there resting, uh, I want to remind you that uh, where we're going to be tomorrow. A big, big match in Vancouver at Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor. 
sponsored by Uncle Mills. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The chair comes crashing down across the back. Oh, Madrill using that chair across the back of Mike Winter. Uh, Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor tomorrow night starting at 7.30. Uncle Milt's is located on the 4th Plain Boulevard at Grand in Vancouver. There are a number of reasons that we're going to ask that you be there tomorrow night. You'll find out once you get there. We're going to have some big surprises for you. Uncle Milt's tomorrow, 7.30. Next Friday, the 3rd of January, 8 o'clock in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds. And Don Barry Owen. <laughs> Don and Barry Owen have a huge card scheduled in Eugene. Next Friday the 3rd. A tag grudge match. Steve Dahl and Crush against the Bruise Brothers. For reservations, you can call 484-0840. Next Saturday, the 4th of January, of course, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. And I'm going to give you information of where we're going to be later on in the month of January. Oh, man. The drill slammed right into that iron post. Winner slammed him right into that iron post. And now Winner on the offensive. Winner going for the chair. Well, turnabout is fair slam with the chair across the back. Madrill is down. Oh, man, Winner. Winner using that, that chair definitely as a weapon right now. And he's got a little carried away. And referee Sandy Barr is trying to get the chair out of his hand. Winner could find himself getting disqualified. Winner throws the drill back into the ring. If you just tuned in, this is our first match at the Portland Sports Arena. Now Madrill against Mike Winner. There comes the drill right at you. Oh, all right. Now they put the drill down. And Winner stays on the move. There's a whip into the ropes. Goes the drill and a hard drop kick by Winner. The drill reaches down into those tights, and I think he's got that metal bar. As uh, Winner goes for the mask, he's going for the hood. That 500 bucks and the hood. But if he's not careful, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The drill, the drill put that uh, metal, that piece of metal in the hood. He's loaded the hood. He's setting, he's setting Winner up. I know he is. There's a victory roll by Madrill. Oh, no, reversal by Mike Winter. One, two. You see what he did? You see what he did? That's a, that's a headbutt, almost a reverse headbutt. But Madrill did it. He got the job done. He loaded that mask, and he brought Winter's head down under his own. And that's all it took. That's all it took. But Winter is laying flat on his back semi-conscious and Al Madrill is walking away from here well the crowd at ringside is going nuts they're, they're telling Sandy Barr exactly what happened they're saying that hey Madrill loaded that mask and Sandy Sandy says now hang on just a second here all right I, st I still say they should bring a metal detector in here this whole place is erupting right now Madrill and Sandy Barr are having it out verbally. And Winter finally gets to his uh, his seat and then his feet, and he's outside. Whoa, wait a minute now. Madrill just pushed uh, Sandy Barr down, and that's, that's not going to get him very far. Uh, but, yeah, Sandy Barr is reversing the decision. Hear that? He doesn't. Sandy Barr doesn't even need proof of any uh, loaded hood. Here, here's Sandy. Oh, Madrill's blaming me. You know, Al, I'm getting sick and tired of this. You have respect for nobody or anything. Last week, you showed no respect for Santa Claus. 
You showed no respect for an agreement you made. You agreed to take the mask off if you lost. What'd you do? You covered your head up and took off. I'd like to teach you a little respect. How about having a match with me? Nothing special, just a regular match. Well, that'd be good, yeah. All right, Sandy Boy, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Tomorrow in Uncle Milt's Pizza, I have an open contract, boy, and the only way I'll wrestle you, Sandy Bar, is if you put your hair on the line. Tomorrow in Uncle Milt's. Whoa. My hair against your mask at Uncle Milt's tomorrow? Guarantee it? I'll tell you what, I'll put this mask up, I'm not worried about it. You put your hair up, yes or no? All right, you got uh -oh, it tomorrow, uh -oh. baby. Well, I didn't know about that one, obviously. <laughs> I had no idea anything like that was going to be happening. There's another reason to be at Uncle Milk's tomorrow night at 7.30. Wow, that's a, that's a bit of a shock right there. We're going to have a, uh, a hair versus mask match tomorrow night at Uncle Milk's in Vancouver. Now remember, that's on 4th Plain Boulevard. Here's another reminder of our pro wrestling calendar for the coming week. Tomorrow, the 29th, we're going to be in Vancouver at Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor on 4th Plain Boulevard at Grand starting at 7.30. Then Friday, January the 3rd, we're going to be in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds starting at 8 o'clock. Next Saturday, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena, 8.30 bell time. Thursday, the 9th of January, we're going to be in Salem at the Salem Armory starting at 7.45 p.m. Now, if you've got a, a club, a church, a group, group, school, an organization of any kind that you'd like to raise money for, you can book pro wrestling into your area to raise money for charity. You call Barry Owen at area code 503-484-0840, and he'll give you all the info you need on how to book pro wrestling into your area to raise money for charity. You know, as far as I'm concerned, we were robbed Wednesday night. Everybody that's here saw what happened. And uh, as far we've been talking about it, as far as we're concerned, and all these people know, we're still the baddest tag team in the Northwest. Now, everybody thought they were going to see the old man strap the Bruise Brothers. Well, you got a couple of licks in, but we did get the last laugh, brother, because we knocked your butt, brother. I'll take a strap, two straps, three straps any day to see that old fart hit the ground like he did Wednesday night, Christmas Day. That's the best Christmas present I could have ever had. <laughs> you know, the Bruise Brothers come up here and they're backing up what they say. We've got open contracts to wrestle anybody, anytime for all the belts. We're up here for championship belts. They've held the tag team belts. I've held the tag team belts. I've held the single belt. These guys would like to hold the singles belt sometime. But we got to get cooperation. And after what you did to Don Owens Wednesday night, I think you're going to start getting the cooperation you guys deserve. But let's talk about next, tomorrow night, a big TV taping. You guys got Art Bar. I don't care you call him Beetlejuice if you want to, but us, he's Art Bar and Jesse Bar. Ain't nothing better than to start it off good in Vancouver and kick that little family butt. Uncle Milt's Pizza tomorrow night in Vancouver, brother. And I got Demolition Crush. Then we're in Eugene on Friday night. Grappler, we go back a long way, you and I. Let's settle it once and for all in Eugene, and Eugene only, and you guys too. Who we got? Crush. Hey, yeah. Crush yeah. and Steve <laughs> Dow. If you get through this six man tonight, Show up in Eugene Friday night, and we'll take it from there, brother. The bottom line is we're too legit to quit. Yeah. Come on. All right. We'll be back with more after this time up. Too legit to quit.
I just received word we're getting ready for our six-man tag match already. I can't believe that that's going to be happening right now. You better call your friends and neighbors, tell them to tune in right now. KPTV Channel 12, six-man tag main event about to hit the air. Another reminder, pick up your copy of the Express Weekly Advertiser, available every Friday. It's absolutely free throughout the entire Portland, Vancouver area. Inside, information on our Portland pro wrestlers and wrestling, and information on the Jungle Jim McKee radio program on KKEY 1150 on your AM dial. Jungle Jim and Jerry Dimmitt. Oh, now there's a tag team, huh? They're on during the uh, weekday mornings from 6 to 8. And then Jungle Jim's got his own buy and sell program, 10 to 1 every Saturday. Oh, we're going to also be telling you on how to keep informed on what happens here at the Portland Sports Arena. And we'll do that in just a little bit. Well, Don Owen got rid of the, uh, the toupee, I see. That weird looking wig. I'll tell you, I, these, I think these Bruce brothers are lucky to still be here in the Northwest. They slapped Don on around Wednesday night, and you just can't do that. All right, Don Owen will make the announcement out. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall, a three-sided team match. Introducing in this corner, the three-sided team match of Playboy Buddy Rose and the Bruce Brothers, Ron and Don Harris. Their opponents in this corner, the three-sided team of the Christ, Steve Dahl, and the Grappler. Now this will be a battle, so stay away from the ring. Thank you. Well, that's for sure. Anytime you're here at the Portland Sports Arena or at any arena throughout the Northwest, you don't want to get close to the ring. Because, well, you see what happens here. Sometimes these guys are thrown over the top, through the ropes. They land outside. Well, many times they'll land right into that metal guardrail. You've seen that happen. So you want to be very, very careful. Well, we got the Bruce Brothers and Buddy Rhodes. Buddy himself is the size of most tag teams. So that's really uh, makes it an unfair advantage here, doesn't it? Against the team of Crush, Steve Dahl, and the Grappler. Buddy Rose billing himself as 217 pounds, obviously on a broken scale. And I heard, I don't, know, I don't know who I heard this from, but I heard that uh, the Bruce Brothers were seen the, the other day taking Buddy down to the uh, truck scales in Wilsonville. Now, I don't know, you know, I don't know how much truth there is to that, to that rumor. Here. All right, now the crowd really getting behind. Steve Dahl. As Dahl's out there tangling again with one of the Bruce Brothers, I never can't keep these guys straight. I don't know if that's Don Harris or Ron Harris. It really doesn't make that much difference right now. Another reminder, tomorrow night, Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor, that place is going to be hopping and bobbing. Man, that's, you know, they've had uh, two matches there already, sellouts. And this is uh, bound to be another one, so you want to make sure you're one of the ones that are sold in. Get there early. 7.30, matches start tomorrow night. What a drop kick by Steve Dahl. Another drop kick. Whoa. And now he's taking on Buddy Rose. He's got both Bruce Brothers outside. Oh, and a drop kick on Rose, and Rose is outside, and I think we just had a register. We just registered something on the Richter scale. And the entire team of Rose and the Bruce Brothers are standing outside right now. Seven thirty tomorrow night. Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor. 
Fourth Plain Boulevard at Grand in Vancouver. Now you already know that one of those matches is going to be between Sandy Barr and Al Madrill. If Sandy loses, he loses his hair. If Madrill loses, he's got to take off the mask. All right, the tag is made. Grappler comes in. He makes his own tag on the left shoulder and arm of the Bruce Brothers. And the next Friday, January 3rd, can you believe a whole new year? It, oh, Buddy Rose trying to get in. And he straddled himself across that pop rope. Look at this. Oh, baby. Grappler going into a football tackle position, and he and he threw that Bruce Brother for a loss. I got news for you. That one. And once again, we've got both Bruce Brothers standing outside, and Buddy Rose trying to take a reading on his body to see if part of it doesn't hurt. And he got, Buddy was, I don't know what, he was on that top rope, and he slipped, and he just straddled himself across the rope. And they, <clears throat> the crowd wants Grappler to make the tag with Crush. Yes! And Rose wants no part of this. Rose lost to Crush Christmas night. And he lost big time to, to Crush. Man, what a, what a house they had here. What a mech. What action they had here Christmas night. Uh-oh. Rose... Rose, uh, you know, circuit. Now, Rose trying to go for it. Rose trying to do that. Rose is trying to do that. Body slam. Boy, I tell you, it's not, it's just, it's not just anybody in pro wrestling that can buddy, <laughs> buddy slam body Rose. Well, you know what I mean. In the rope. Oh. One boot right in the face. Rose is in the wrong corner. He made the tag with Steve Gall. Boy, Rose really got himself in the wrong corner on that one. <laughs> Drop kick by Steve Gall on Buddy Rose. Rose trying to crawl into the right corner. Interference by the Bruce brothers. Oh, come on. They're going to allow that. Friday, January 3rd. The Grappler and Mean Mike Miller go at each other in Eugene, the Lane County Fairgrounds. On that same card in Eugene, we've got Dahl and Crush teaming up to go against the Bruise Brothers in a tag grudge match. Well, Don and Barry Owen putting together a super card next Friday. And the third in the game at the Lane County Fairgrounds. Hard drag by Steve Dahl. And he makes the tag with Crush. Crush going to come in. Oh, and he crushes the left bicep of the Bruce brother in there. Oh, look at this, look at this, crush him. He's turning that left, whole left arm of that Bruce brother into mincemeat. Tomorrow we got Vancouver, Uncle Milk's Pizza Parlor. Next Friday we've got Eugene, Lane County Fairgrounds. Those matches in Eugene start at 8 o'clock. Again, you can phone for reservation, ticket reservations, 484-0840 in Eugene. Oh, a neck breaker by the Grappler. This one could be history. This six-man tag, the uh, Grappler's not going for the pin. He's going for more romping and stomping. Now, you got to fight a little fire with fire with these guys. These Bruce brothers have done a lot of damage to a lot of people since they've been in the Northwest. There's another kick by Dahl. 
Oh, just, just lumping and stuffing. Putting a lot of hurts. I doubt that uh, that even hurts anymore. I doubt that that bruise brother can even feel on that left side of his body. Into the ropes goes Dahl. Down goes the group. Oh! Dahl ran right into either the knee or the fist. Right in the small of the back. Now the tag is made and Buddy Rose is in there. He's got Dahl. Whips him right into the... Right into the turn, right into the ropes. And Dahl is hurting. Dahl, Dahl hit that rope neck first. He's, I doubt if he can even breathe, especially in that position. Dahl is really hurting. He's trying. Oh, uh, there is. He's doing it. Uh, that's a mega setup. Oh, man. Again, these Bruce brothers will always manage to interfere some way or the other and do some damage some way or the other. Do it again. I didn't see the tag, but apparently Buddy Rose reached over his right hand and made the tag with the Bruise Brother. The brother. I, I, got, I just got more news. I just got more news on that match in Eugene. And uh, I guess it's going to be Buddy Rose versus uh, versus the Grappler and Mike Miller against uh, Brickhouse Brown, along with that super tag grudge match, Dahl and Crush against the Bruce Brothers. So what? That is going to be quite a card down there in Eugene on January the 3rd, next Friday, at 8 o'clock. One match, you got Playboy Buddy Rose against the Grappler, and you got Mike Miller against Brickhouse Brown. Woo! And then you got Dahl and Crush against the Bruce Brothers. But before Eugene and before Vancouver, you've got the Portland Sports Arena tonight, and you got Crush coming to the aid of his fallen comrade out there, Steve Dahl. Dahl trying to get to his feet. Dahl has taken a severe beating. He has, he has had to make, he's got to get out of there. I'm sure nobody knows that better than Steve Dahl. Dahl's eyes are, are glassy now. He's into the turnbuckle goes Dahl. Dahl is just, he's, he's at their mercy. He can't even defend himself anymore. Buddy Rose comes crashing down a two-handed smash across the back of Steve Dahl. Oh, no! What an avalanche on the back of Steve Dahl. And now going for the pin, one, two. There's no way Dahl can, he did. But Dahl doesn't know where he is. Dahl did avoid the third pin. But Dahl is, he's really hurting. He is really hurting. Into the ropes, he threw, he threw Buddy into the ropes, but Buddy came off full force and hit Steve. And they're both down. Oh, Buddy almost went the wrong corner again. Buddy reaches over, makes the tag. And again, Dahl cannot. Dahl is just oh, a suplex by the Bruce brother on Dahl. Dahl. What a beating the man has taken, and he still continues to reach down and, I don't know, pull up some kind of reserve power and kick out, avoiding the third count as uh, Buddy, again, drives the knee into the back. Now he's going for a, looks like a camel clutch. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I guess I don't have to tell you which one's the camel, huh? Oh, what a, what a pain for that. that is a tremendously painful. A very painful move. I, oh, now that, that wasn't the thing to do, buddy. No, that was not the thing to do. That got both, of course, what that did. Well, maybe it was the thing to do. Isn't that a terrible... 
I'll tell you. It got the referee's attention diverted, and uh, you saw what happened to Steve Dahl again. They're going to do anything they can to keep Dahl in there and keep him away from his corner. Now we have another little skirmish breaking out between the grappler and... And again, the referee's attention is diverted. Yeah, and Steve Dahl is... Oh, I tell you, Steve Dahl's getting it together outside on the Bruce brother, and the Dahl again attacked by Buddy Rose. Dahl, uh, Dahl came to life outside, but he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Too bad that he, uh, you know, he needs to be inside the ring doing that. Now the referee Sandy Barr saying, give the man a chance to get into the ring. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Crush and Grappler have not had much. Oh, the tag is made. I was going to say, they haven't had much wrestling time. The tag is made. The referee didn't see it, and he's not allowing the tag. He's not allowing the tag that was legally made, but Sandy Barr did not see it. Oh, my word. I'll tell you what, it rains the pores, huh? You can't win for losing. But so far, nobody has won or lost this match. Oh, Steve Dahl comes back, and he hits Buddy in the most vulnerable spot in his body, and that's his belly. And he comes back with another couple of right to work right between his legs, makes the tag with Crush. Well, everybody saw that tag. And it's Crush in there, working on Buddy. Oh, upside down. Buddy goes upside down in the corner. And we got everybody in there. We got all six of them in there. Look out, look out. Oh, Crush, just a pile driver on Buddy Rose. This has got to be it. We've got fights outside the ring. And now Crush going for the full Nelson. Chalk it up. Put it away. Put it away. Buddy, there's no way Buddy Rose is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here come the Bruce Brothers. They, they just nailed Grappler and Steve Dahl, and now they come in and interfere. And that's a disqualification. That's a disqualification. I tell you, these guys ought to be, they ought to be suspended, they ought to be fined, they ought to be thrown out of the Northwest. They ought to be put out of wrestling. A double clothesline. These guys are, these guys are absolutely going crazy. Buddy Rose has got a chair. And the Bruce Brothers, the Bruce Brothers are just trying to cripple, crush. Now Rose throws the chair in there. Now look, now look what they're doing. Slamming that chair down across the back of Crush. Ah, you, there's nothing the referee can do. He's only one man. We need some help in there. Well, Steve Dahl got some help. And so do the grappler. They got some chairs. Yeah, chairman of the board here. Well, hopefully it's not, it's not too late for Crush. Boy, oh boy. They really, they really put the hurts to, to Crush. Playboy Buddy Rose and the Bruce Brothers exploding all over Crush. They did, however, get themselves disqualified, but that's nothing. I mean, they, that's just, that's just part of their M.O. Crush uh, laying out there in the middle of the ring, being attended to by both Steve Dahl and the grappler. Uh, As you can see, we a little bit out of breath and tired from excitement. Every week. Somehow, someway, these boys come out on top. Crush, it's coming back to us, baby. We did what we did tonight for two reasons. Number one, we just plain enjoy it. Number two, the only way anybody can get a title shot with that yellow punk in the ring is by beating him with a chair to get his attention and push him into it. <laughs> Bottom line, Crush, we want a title shot. It don't matter which one. We'll both sign a contract. You can put your name on either one you want, but one of us Gonna get a title shot with you, punk. 
And when it's said and done, big boy, I'm going to have two belts around my waist, or he's going to have two around his waist, and you're going to be left holding the bag, punk. Crush is getting to his feet in the ring right now. I'm sure Crush is going to have, I'm sure he's going to have an answer to that challenge. Can we get the, uh, get the house mic? We'll get the house mic for Crush. Steve Dahl's got it now. Go ahead, give it to Crush. Hey, Bruce Brothers! Bruce Brothers! Hey, tough guys, come on! Can you hear me? There you are! I've already gone back. If all you want was a title match, why don't you just come and ask? Now we're gonna have to do things the hard way. I try to be a nice guy. I try to play by the rules. But from now on, Crush is going back to his old style. And I'll tell you what, these people are gonna be behind me too. Yeah. Guess what we want, big boy? Because you're going back to your old style. In other words, you coming to play our rules now. So bring it on, baby, bring it on. Well, bring it on. How Let's about that Saturday up. night? <laughs> I'll tell you what, let me ask yeah. you one question, yeah. though. Will I be fighting one of you or the both of you? One's all it takes. One's all it takes. There might be two of us, but we're just one. <laughs> yeah, that's yet to be seen. All right, that's next Saturday night. We're saying next Saturday night, right here at the Portland Sports Arena. I think that's uh, that. That was the challenge that was issued, and that was the challenge that was ac accepted next Saturday night here at the Portland Sports Arena, a non-title match. Crush, and I guess possibly both of the Bruce brothers. Who knows? That's next Saturday night right here. We'll be back with more after this timeout. I told you that we would uh, bring you up to date on where you can continue to get information on uh, our matches here at the Portland Sports Arena. First of all, you can call the arena at 289-4222 and find out what's happened on that particular Saturday night. Find out where the action is going to be that following week. You can also get that same information on uh, radio station KKEY 1150 on your AM dial by listening to the Jungle Jim McKee show. And radio station KWBY 94. 940 on your AM dial, 94 country, KWBY, well, is going to have a pro wrestling report that will not only uh, bring you up to date on what happened the previous Saturday night here at the Sports Arena, but it'll bring you up to date on all the calendar where all the guys are going to be throughout the entire Northwest and from time to time have some actualities, some of the voices of the guys. Now that's going to be quite a quite a chore right there but it'd be very interesting here's brick house what's brick house brown doing out there i have no idea what's going on here i want to just have everybody attention because all of you were here christmas night and you seen what happened to me mike miller you get your long-legged cushion foot not need liver lip beady eyed butt out here so i can own this can of kick butt and i'm challenging you right now that's why I got referee Sandy Ball out here because I want him out here right now. And don't hesitate. Get out here with the quickness, boy, because I got something for you. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm ready to be on you like white on rice and everything that ain't nice, like a call on a dog, like ham on a country hall. So if you got guts, brother, come on down here right now and let's get busy. I wish this guy could talk. <laughs> oh, he's fantastic. Brickhouse Brown. Well, here comes Mike Miller. He got him out here. And he brought Lucille and his new fedora. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's... This is an unscheduled match, if indeed it's going to be a match. I don't, well, I guess it is. Yeah, there's the bell, and we're underway. No introductions. But... Uh, the man that's just now doing the beating, as you know, from LaRanger, Louisiana, Mean Mike Miller. 
And uh, now the one that's doing the beating. Is Brickhouse Brown. Oh, yeah. Into the ropes goes Pillar. Hammer off the rope. Close by. Oh, baby. I tell you, there's no love lost between these two guys. They've known each other a long time. They have uh, they've met many times down that pro wrestling road. In many towns, in many cities, in many countries. Sometimes, uh, sometimes friends, most of the time, not. Oh, little judo type chop to Mike Miller. And there goes Miller, face first into the turnbuckle. And Brickhouse trying to, well, he's trying to get Mike in position for an atomic drop, but whatever it was, didn't work. He just took uh, gouge to the eye. Uh, Brown has just kind of collapsed into that corner as Mike Miller continues to work on it. In the ropes goes Brown, an elbow by Mike Miller. Another reminder that even though this is our last telecast on Channel 12, there's going to be plenty of action here every Saturday night. And pro wrestling will continue throughout the entire Northwest. All the towns that you've heard us talk about, we're going to be there. And we certainly want to thank Channel 12, KPTV, for having brought Portland Pro Wrestling into your homes by way of your television screen for the past 24 years. And I hope you've had a chance to drop them a card or a letter. Just thanking them for, for being your television connection to Portland Pro Wrestling for all these years. It feels like an, an end of an era tonight, but it's certainly not the end of pro, pro wrestling. In fact, later on in the month of January, on Friday the 10th, we're going to be in Eugene. Saturday the 11th, of course, right back here at the Sports Arena. Tuesday the 14th of January, we're going to be in Longview, Washington, at the fairground, 745. Thursday the 16th, we're going to be in Yakima at the J.M. Perry Tech. Well, we haven't been there for a long time. 7.45 p.m. in Yakima. Friday the 17th, of course, back in Eugene. The 18th, right back here at the arena. Thursday the 23rd in the Salem Armory. Well, I'll tell you, we're, uh, we're still rolling. And we'll continue to roll. 1992 is going to be a fantastic year for pro wrestling in the Northwest. You just wait and see. And you, you keep listening to Jungle Jim on Key Radio and certainly 94 Country KWBY for your pro wrestling report. What we're going to try to do is on Mondays through Fridays broadcast that report a couple of times a day if everything works right. <laughs> Best made plans, you know. And we're going to keep you informed as to what's going on. We'll also have some more news for you tomorrow night at Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor. That's why it's very important for you to be there if you possibly can. Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor, 4th Plain Boulevard at Grand in Vancouver tomorrow night starting at 7.30. Right jab by Brickhouse Brown. Break across the face. Series of right hand smashes by Mike Miller into the turnbuckle goes Brown. Brown collapsing into that turnbuckle. And Miller working on it. Oh, a hard smash right, right across the ear. There go into the ropes. What is this? Somersault by Brown. Miller saying, well, where is he? Well, he found out. A little flashy move by Brickhouse. Caught Miller off guard. Caught, caught us all off guard. And Miller paying the price right now. He, he's hurting. Brown coming down from upstairs. Oh, a crash landing on the body of Mike Miller. Crown says, yeah, one more time. Go ahead. Go for it, Brickhouse. 
Rickhouse says, well, hey, that, that was easy enough the first time. Let me try it again. But wait a minute. Here comes Buddy Rose. Buddy Rose is in there. Ow! He just caught Brickhouse Brown with that two by four. And now he's, what's he got? He's, he's got something around his neck. He's, he's got Brickhouse Brown wrapped up in the rope and Miller's attacking the referee again. How can they continue to do this? Referee is wrapped up on one side of the rope. Brickhouse wrapped up on the other side of the rope. And now they're whipping him. Whipping him with a belt. Here comes Steve Dahl. Oh, he's got a chair. Oh, man. Dahl brought that. Dahl brought the chair down. He didn't mean to. It was an accident, but he brought the chair down across the left arm of Sandy Barr. Sandy really taking a beating in there. Really taking a beating in there tonight. From, I mean, intentionally and unintentionally. From everybody. Don't tell me these guys are going to come up here. Not right now. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. I, better... well, I don't know who's coming up here. Steve looks like Dahl is coming up here with Brickhouse Brown. I don't know when in the world they're going to be able to get some kind of control over these wrestlers, over this interference that continually comes in from people like Buddy Rose and especially the Bruce Brothers. These guys are becoming masters of interference. And here comes uh, Steve Dahl and Brickhouse Brown. I don't know. Brickhouse, they did it to you again, partner. Interference all the time from these guys. There's no room in wrestling for this kind of bull. Now I don't know what your problem is, Mike Miller, and now you got this sucker Buddy Rose coming down here. I am proud to be what I am. And don't you try to make me feel bad because of the way I was born. But I tell you what, I'm not gonna sit up here and cry because I got in professional wrestling for one thing. And that's to be the best that I can be. And let me tell you something. I didn't get in to turn the other cheek. You kick me, I'm going to kick you twice. You slap me, I'm going to slap slob from your mouth twice as hard. So now, since I see how y'all are playing, the man responsible for me being here, Steve Dahl, brother, I need your help more than ever. You know, Rick, I've been sitting back and me, and Crush, and the rest of the guys, Miller, we've been keeping our mouth shut. We've been staying out of your business, baby. What you got to do is what you got to do. You want to fight this man one-on-one? -on -one? You got a problem with him? You got a problem with his heritage? That's your problem. But when you start bringing guys like Buddy Rose down the aisle, and he's jumping this man's back, and it takes two of you, then you got a problem. Then we got a problem. Now, me and you, Miller, it goes a lot deeper than anybody knows about. And that's nobody's business. But I'm telling you right here, right now, if this man needs a partner, Miller, Rose, you guys in for a heap of trouble, baby. I'm gonna tell you something. I want all my brothers and sisters to pay attention to what's going on. This is coming on a new year. Ain't no time for this. And tell you, I'm just like the mailman. Brothers and sisters, I'm gonna take care of this and I shall deliver. Live with it, baby. Oh. He knows how to back up those words with action. We'll be back with more. Don't you dare go away. Right after this. That's right, people. What can I say when it's all been said? Fridays and Saturdays in Eugene on Fridays, Saturday right here, we're gonna be here every week, regardless of what goes on, regardless of there's no TV or whatever. I thank you, Channel 12, you did a great job all these years. But now, Sandy Barr, Mr. Cameraman, don't go away yet, look at this. This is what's gonna to happen tomorrow in Uncle Mills. Sure, I'll put my mask on, I ain't worried about that. But tomorrow, if you say that I've got a bald head, well, Sandy Barr, after tomorrow, they're gonna to be calling you Baldy. And not only does the hair match, against the mask in Uncle Milk's, but also 
Beetlejuice is going to be there. Oh, wow. Him and his brother Jesse, him and his brother Jesse are going to wrestle the Bruise Brothers. Also, for the first time in Uncle Milt, the Crush is going to be there against, against Slim and Trim Buddy Rose. The next Friday, of course, we're back in the, in the fairgrounds, like I said. Crush and Doll are going to wrestle the Bruise Brothers. Mike Miller is going to take on, hey, brother, Brickhouse Brown. Get down. <laughs> yeah. And then next Saturday, of course, we're right back here. Thursday the 9th, we're going to be in Salem at the Army 745. So, people, all I want to say is, Channel 12, thank you for everything. And tomorrow on Uncle Meal, goodbye hair to Sandy Bar. <laughs> Adios. See you later, Wally Gator. <laughs> I want to thank Jungle Jim McKee of McKee Radio. Look what he did. He, he presented me just moments ago a, a trim, look at this. It's from Whistle Stop Trains, 141st and Southeast Start. It says KPTV 12 and Don Koss. Now, I don't know if he did this because he knows I have a one-track mind or, uh, or whether I'm still in training or what. But this is great. Thank you, Jungle Jim. This is... Uh, I will Ladies and this. gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 250 pounds from Milwaukee, C.W. Bergstrom. His opponent in this corner, 248 pounds from Texas, Jimmy Jack. Okay, Jimmy Jack, also known as Jesse Barr. Jesse Barr, C.W. Bergstrom. And we are underway for the Portland Sports Arena, the House of Action. Jesse Barr wasting no time on CW. And as I look over my shoulder, I see Playboy Buddy Rose and Mike Miller in the crow's nest right now. And uh, what are you guys doing? It, it's signed next Saturday night. Brickhouse Brown and Steve Dahl against me and Mike Miller and the Playboy. You know, in professional football, it's dominated by the black players. In professional baseball, the black players are getting all the big contracts. In professional football, like I said, it's all the black athletes that are great. But in professional wrestling, it's the white athletes that dominate. You look at this crowd, I don't see any of your brothers or sisters out there, Brickhouse Brown. And there's one thing that, that goes to the show. You know why you call each other brother? It's because you don't know who your daddy is. Isn't that right? Hey, what do you think about that? Hey, what about this scrapper, buddy? You think he felt that? I know you did, Brickhouse Brown, laying out there on your back. You had that little chauffeur's hat on. I tell you what, buddy, you bring your limo up here, we'll put that boy behind the wheel. He'll give us a good spin around the block. Let me tell you something, Steve Dahl. You're sticking your nose into something that you don't even belong, son. You're going to get your little butt knocked right out, son. You mess with a mean man and Buddy Rose, son. We've been around here a long time. Next Saturday night, son, we're going to be here right in the middle of that ring. Buddy Rose, me and Mike Miller, and look out. Greg House, Steve Dahl, you boys going down, son. We have, we have just got to be more careful on who we let up here into the crow's nest. We apologize for the remarks made by Playboy Buddy Rose. Of course, I don't know if we did that every time. We'd be not, nothing but apologizing for everything Rose and Miller and the Blues Brothers. And, oh, man. I'll tell you, you guys have no class whatsoever. But what they, uh, the bottom line of all that is that they're talking action. And they're talking a lot of action. From Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor tomorrow night in Vancouver to the Eugene Lane County Fairgrounds next Friday. And back here at the Portland Sports Arena next Saturday night. And the winner of our match that you just saw out there in the middle of the ring, Jesse Barr over C.W. Bergstrom. We will be back with more action from the House of Action right after these words. Once again, a reminder of where we're going to be over the next couple of weeks. 
All right, starting tomorrow, we're going to be in Vancouver at Uncle Milt's Pizza Parlor at 4th Plain Boulevard in Grand. Big card there scheduled at 7.30 p.m. It's very important for you to be there because not only is there going to be a lot of action, there's also going to be a lot of pro wrestling news for you fans. It's at Uncle Milt's tomorrow night. Friday, the ja January the 3rd, we're going to be in Eugene to the Lane County Fairgrounds. Action starts at 8 o'clock next Saturday, of course, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. Now, no TV, but lots of action right here at the House of Action that all starts at 8.30 p.m. next Saturday. Thursday, Thursday, the 9th of January, the 9th of January, we're going to be in Salem at the Salem Armory starting at 7.45 p.m. And again, if you want to book pro wrestling into your area to raise money for charity, you call Barry Owen at area code 503-484-0840. Now we got the Bruce Brothers up here. Well, you know, we sat back there and we heard next Saturday night it's going to be a non-title match. They always get in their way one way or another. Well, we flipped the coin in the back. I lost, so brother gets to come out here next week and take care of business. It's like this. It ain't no doubt. Everybody knows there's bad blood between the Bruce Brothers and Don Owens. So it don't surprise me that Crush is running around and Don's acting like his daddy and he's going to protect him and not let him put them titles on the line. But the bottom line is, Crush, I'll beat you next week and sooner or later you got to give me a title shot and all you people can start cheering for the new heavyweight champion. That's him, <laughs> that's him. Tomorrow night, Uncle Mills Pizza Parlor, 7.30 show, Eugene Friday night, Crush, Steve Dahl, Bruce Brothers, that's where it's at. <laughs> All right, well, this is where it's at tonight, and we'll be back with more after these words, after this timeout. Don't you dare go away. And we are back at the Portland Sports Arena one more time, and we're going to, I don't know, they keep changing things on me tonight, so I'm not even going to try to tell you who's going to be battling next. I will remind you, though, where you can get your tickets for our matches here at the Portland Sports Arena. And that is at Sandy Bar's Flea Market right here at the arena and at his new pavilion, uh, Interstate Pavilion Flea Market at 1225 North Marine Drive in Portland. And at Rowdy, Roddy Piper's Pit Stop Transmission Center, 156th and Southeast Division. And when you get your tickets at Piper's Pit Stop Transmission Center, then you get a free sandwich from the Deli Barn at 181st and Division. You get a free movie rental from Videoland at 162nd and Division. And you get a free month's use of uh, and at workouts at uh, Jungle Gym's Athletic Center. One fall. Introducing in this corner 275 pounds from the Midwest. One of the Bruce Brothers, one of the Twin Towers, and I don't know which one it is. His opponent in this corner, 238 pounds from the Airborne Division, John Rambo. John Rambo. John Rambo battling Ron Harris. Bruce brother Ron Harris. In our final match, in our final televised match from the Portland Sports Arena, and before uh, things get too carried away, I want to take this opportunity right now to wish a happy birthday to Suzanne Knight. And let's see, somebody else was celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday to Sonia Erickson. And we certainly want to, uh, to say a special hello to To Bobby Golov. Bobby's here. He's, uh, of course, uh, Oregon's goodwill ambassador for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. What a little charmer he is. He's here up here rooting for everybody. <laughs> a, it's good to see Bobby. Always good to see Bobby at the sports arena. And we certainly want to wish you and yours a very, very happy new year most prosperous 1992 it's going to be a great one believe me and 
And again, another reminder that you can always call the Portland Sports Arena for information update from results to, to calendar of events and where we're going to be. And that phone number is area code 503-289-4222. That's 289-4222. You just saw John Ramble, mule kick. Ron Harris outside. And Harris kind of walking that one off. Another reminder, too, that we're going to be here tomorrow night. We're going to be at uh, in Vancouver at Uncle Milt's tomorrow night, 7.30. Be in Eugene next Friday at 8 o'clock. And also, while I have this opportunity, I want to thank Don Owen. for the many years of the Owen family promoting professional wrestling throughout the entire Pacific Northwest over 65 years of pro wrestling. 40 of it, nearly 40 of it being on Portland television. In the past 24 on Channel 12. Also, yes indeed, check your local newspaper for pro wrestling information. Your local newspaper. We will keep them informed. So just because we may be out of sight doesn't mean that we have to be out of mind, huh? If you make your plans to be on down here, get down here next Saturday night to the Portland Sports Arena. Catch all this action that we've been talking about. My word, I mean. You already know part of what's going on. And we'll bring you up to date on everything in just a matter of moments as we as we bid our final farewell as Ron Harris really spouting off here as he comes away victorious over John Ramble. Ron Harris, the winner. We will be back with our final interview and a special goodbye right after this. Out of action, Steve Dahl, extravaganzas. That's right, Mike Miller. Buddy Rose, I heard you out your running your mouth about me and my partner Brickhouse, baby. Let me tell you something. It's like this right here. You guys are way too long-winded, and you ain't proved nothing to us. Now it takes two of you on this man right here. But next Saturday night, it's going to be two on two. And things are going to be a little bit different. Ain't that right, Brickster? I'm going to tell you something right now. I promise all the people I will open up a can of kick butt, and dudes will be paid. Somebody else be looking black come next Saturday night, baby. You know, cuz, I'm getting just about sick and tired of coming out here every Saturday night and having to eat a steel chair sandwich. Well, Crush is going back to his old ways, baby, and that's demolishing people. Don't get me wrong, I still love your fans as much as I ever have, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Channel 12 for 40 great years. We'll be missing you, but nothing's gonna change around the House of Action, every Saturday night, right here in Portland, wrestling's gonna go on as scheduled, as well as Eugene. As far as next Saturday, these titles being on the line, that was Don, Don Owen's idea. Crush, I can give a fat rat behind whether or not the titles are on the line, Bruce Brothers. The bottom line is this, you gotta step in the ring with me. These belts are what you want, then just come and get them, baby. Whoa, all right. You get your friends, your neighbors, you keep coming down here to the Portland Sports Arena every Saturday night. There are so many people to thank over the years. My goodness, the memories just flood to this entire arena. I want to thank the greatest camera crew in the world of pro wrestling today, the people that we've got up here in the crow's nest, the people out in the bus, and going back in the years, uh, Hunt Decker, Larry Neat, Everyone at Channel 12, thank you so much. And the wrestling world, Dutch Savage, Stan Stasiak, Tony Bourne, the people who got me started here. And of course, Frank Bonima, the late, great Frank Bonima. There, and most of all, you fans who have made it possible. Now don't leave us, you gotta keep supporting us. And again, we thank you for being here in Channel 12. We thank you for the past 24 years. 
and certainly 40 years of, Pro of Portland wrestling being on television. This is just part, this is just part of this era that's coming to an end. Portland Pro Wrestling keeps on going, baby, <laughs> all over the place. So we're gonna see you tomorrow night in Vancouver at Uncle Milt's. We're gonna see you in Eugene next Friday. We're gonna see you here at the Portland Sports Arena next Saturday, right? You bet we will. This is Don Koss for the last time. Thank you very much for joining us from the Portland Sports Arena on Portland on KPTV Channel 12. But we'll see you here in person next Saturday night. Bye-bye. Portland Professional Wrestling has been brought to you in part by Tom Peterson Superstores. Don Cross's wardrobe provided by Mr. Formal.